YouTubes. Actually, the people that follow me on YouTube, as far as YouTube itself can go, they can kiss my arse. I'm leaving from the college. They have graciously brought me back again for the spring semester to teach, and I was happy to accept. I'll start teaching on the 23rd. Electrical motors and controls, my friends. But anywho, anyhow, anyways, for you, Brother Kyle. I'm coming around today to, you know, I'm putting this one out today because I got a nice little notification from the the YouTubers this morning about they had taken one of my videos down where I'd called out the DOD for caving in to political pressure back when they mandated the vaccine. Yes, I said it, YouTube, vaccine for the communist COVID Chinese bioweapon virus, more commonly referred to as COVID-19. Or the coronavirus, whatever you want to call it. I'll call it what it is. COVID-19 is a Chinese bioweapon modified in the lab in Wuhan, Wuhan China, thanks to the rat fink Fauci uh, helping get it funded. Now, whether it was released intentionally or on purpose, doesn't matter at this point in time because now the darn thing is mutated multiple times and that's what a bioweapon is supposed to do so my personal opinion between it the balloon that flew across the country and then all the training derailments among other things these chinese male aged men coming across the border in the droves of hundreds and thousands with military air cuts and of military age i don't have to be you know the, the lightest bulb and light bright but i ain't sure he's the dimmest one you gather my meaning and I'm saying that to say this you know I can look at water and tell you that it's wet without having to feel it okay I can look at a fire far away and tell you that it's hot without touching it all right I can stick a pin in a light socket and know it's going to knock the crap out of me and possibly even kill me and not do it. But anywho, anyhow, anyway, one more time. The old YouTubers took down this video. So they gave me an option to appeal, and I said, first down, I'm not going to appeal this. Why would I want to do that? And they're not going to put it back up. Well, I'm really shocked because I did appeal it because in the appeal I wrote down, you know, First Amendment and F you. Or spilled it down. They put it back up. Shocker, right? Now, after today's video, they might take it back down. Everything else on the channel, I can give a rat's rear end. But it got me to thinking maybe they took it down when they realized that the DOD had reversed its policy on mandating the vaccine now, knowing that that was why they put out ooh, a good amount of troops that knew enough and had the, the wherewithal to stand up and say you know what enough's enough I'm not doing this and now they're trying to bribe a hook or crook to get them back in me personally all of them that were forced out ought to get together and file a class action lawsuit against the DOD and the Biden administration sue them for every damn thing they can get out of them. For a lot of these people, for a lot of these people, they were in the middle of a career or even towards the end of a career, but not enough time to be protected under the provisions of the retirement. What I mean by that, with the Army, I can't speak for the other branches, I can only speak for the Army. When you hit 18 years of active federal service, you are basically fenced in until you reach or attain 20 years of active federal service, unless otherwise separated under other provisions of Army regulations, meaning uh, basically you get court-martialed or you're medically retired. So you can be fat and overweight, you can fail a PT test, 
Those are performance issues, They're not disciplinary issues. So if you've got 18 years of active federal service in, you're locked in. Based on the way they can get rid of someone like that, they basically have to be court martialed. Now I know there's gonna be some people that's gonna troubleshoot that one. So I know, okay, whatever, then case by case basis. I just tell you what the regulations say. I don't think they've changed that much. And the reason the military or the army did that or does that is they figured 18 years you were intending to make it a career. And for reasons of, you know, whatever, you know, you're not meeting height and weight standard, you're not making meeting the PT standard, or the fact that you're injured or hurt. And but you've got 18 years in. So they're going to carry you to 20 so you get your retirement. Anything less than that, if it's medical related, there's only two types of separate was well, three, really. One is a permanent medical retirement, meaning the Army has found you at 30% or more permanently disabled. And that's the magic number for medical retirement from the Army is 30%. Or you have a condition that is not stabilized, but it's severe enough to limit you from staying on active duty and they can put you on what's called the temporary disabled retired list and then finally it's just permanent medical retirement meaning like i said you've got uh, more than 30 percent or well not, the third option is just a medical discharge in other words the amount of disability is less than 30 percent but severe enough to keep you from serving on active duty these are all usually done by the determination of a medical review board, a physical evaluation board. Okay. If I remember correctly, a physical evaluation board determines whether you can stay on active duty or not. If you're deemed fit for active duty but not for your MOS, then you go to, uh, there's another board that convenes to determine if you, know, if you can reclassify into this MOS or not. If, if you're deemed you know, physically permanently physically unfit and like I said 30% or more you're going to get medically retired 30% or less than 30% is going to be a medical discharge and usually medical discharge it's your base pay I want to say it's your base pay times the number of years of service as a severance package that may have changed I don't know long story short is this those folks got put out because they refused to take a vaccine that they knew had complications, was not widely studied, had not been widely tested, and all that good horse mess. And then, so they got put out. Most of them probably received a general under honorable conditions discharge. A general under honorable is not going to kill you, but it certainly does you no favors either. You can appeal six months after release for an upgrade, but guess what? It goes back to the authority which issued that discharge, i.e. the command that separated you. And in six months time, there's a good chance many of the people that were there when you were separated are still there. And they're gonna be the ones who review your discharge. So yet really you have to have evidence to support the upgrade. Meaning that you know the, the board that separated you was negligent or didn't have a piece of evidence that you didn't get to lack of the fact. And I've only known a handful of people to get discharges upgraded because that it, it's not automatically upgraded after six months, contrary to popular myth. You have to apply to your branch of service. And if you have an OTH other than honorable, that means you were separated in lieu of a court martial. Meaning they had enough on you to give you a courts martial, but they opted for you to separate for the good of the service. Now, an other than honorable, it 
basically carries felony level implications when it comes to federal benefits. Here in the state of North Carolina, if you have an other than honorable discharge, you cannot obtain a concealed handgun permit. If you get a bad conduct or a dishonorable discharge, uh, or dishonorable discharge, those two, you basically have been courts martialed. Okay. Those are felony level convictions to stay on your record. So, you know, anyway. So maybe that's why you two put it back up after I appealed it, even though I said free, you know, I put on our free speech First Amendment. So that's what it is. I mean, they say they've got the right to limit what you can put on their platform. Well, I pay a premium for premium services. So I say no, you do, you don't have that full discretionary measure of what my content can and cannot be. As long as I'm not advocating anything illegal, you don't have a right to limit what I say. And if you believe that, take my damn channel down, take it down now, I give a rat's ass. And to all the people that watch me on YouTube, I can tell you why many of the channels we continue to watch on YouTube for one reason. None of us want to go to another platform because YouTube has better features. All the other platforms have been stood up, such as Rumble, Parler. They're all right, but they are nowhere near as far as the, you know user friendly as far as uploading content, this, that, and the other, than YouTube. I hate to say it. We've become spoiled with, with modern social media. YouTube being one of them. So none of us want to take our stuff down off of YouTube and go strictly to another source because the other thing too is we don't have as wide an audience as we would on YouTube. So, anywho. Anyhow, anyway, three times a day for you, Brother Kyle, because it's Friday. And that's all I've really got to say for today, boys and girls, girls and boys of all ages. But y'all... Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your weekend. Um, and to the YouTube auditor, kiss my ass. To everybody else, love you. Mean it. Friendly neighborhood old soldier out.